welcome back to another video. Sorry, the sun is gonna be kind of in and out in this video, but I just took some pictures in the snow and we just had our first snowfall. So I wanted to kind of come on here and do a um, winter preset, I guess. Um, that's like kind of more blue toned, stuff like that. I am kind of running out of preset ideas right now. I know a lot of you on my feed are asking what preset I'm using and I'm using right now I'm just uploading a picture and then just editing however I want. I go through this phase where I want it to be kind of one aesthetic and uniform. Um, and then I go through phases where like right now where I just don't really care about my aesthetic. If you go to my Instagram right now at Nancy Hurtado, it, uh, what's it called? It's just all over the place. So that's right now I'm not using one direct preset and I know a ton of you are messaging me asking me what preset each picture it is and it's not even a preset it's just me going on Lightroom and kind of editing as I go and put whatever colors I feel like work best with that picture so right now I don't have a preset I'm not using any of my previous ones I'm not a professional editor photographer any of this like I obviously don't take these pictures other people take these pictures um so I am and I'm not this is not for like I use this for Instagram. I don't want any photographers to be mad about the way I edit. Um, this is just for Instagram, it's just for fun. If you're a photographer, please don't take any offense to the way I edit. Your picture is different, every background is different, every skin tone is different, every hair color is different. So just really play around with all your colors, your brightness, your shadows, all that stuff to see what um, you end up liking. So a, a few videos ago, I had a little part of the video where it said mini announcement and that's at the end of the video. That was for me to edit my subscribers' um, pictures, but I lost some of the messages that entered and I was so, so upset. So please, if you send me a DM, let me know. And if you want to be uh, have a chance for me to edit your picture on one of my videos, please make sure to watch that video and see how um, I can possibly edit your picture. I'm super excited. That video should be coming um, out sooner, sooner or later at some point um, whenever I get around to it, but I'm super excited to film it. So definitely make sure to check that out and see how I can edit your picture. And let's just get started with today's video. This is the Lightroom app um, that I am using to edit all my pictures. This is how I edit all my pictures. Visco is also, a, well, Visco is also a good one to edit your pictures. I used to use that all the time for years and years in college. Um, I'm going to edit this the way I made this preset. So like kind of more blue tones, but then I'm gonna, I'm, I'll show you guys kind of how this preset looks on this and if I want to adjust anything to this picture um on top of the preset because I always have my presets but I always I add the preset and then I adjust after that so none of my pictures like rarely are my pictures just the preset I always adjust every single picture because of the different lightings and different everything so um point 50 for exposure oh I just had it I don't know what's wrong with me Okay, 50 for exposure. So that's plus 50, plus 0.50. And then the highlight, so nothing with the contrast and the highlight, I'm gonna bring it down to a negative 52. For the shadows, I'm bringing that up to a positive 63, I think. Yeah, I'm bringing that up to 63. Um, I'm also looking down on my iPad because I screenshotted all my settings on my phone to my iPad because I didn't wanna write it all down, I just took pictures. And then for the whites, I'm adding a 48, uh, plus 48 to it. Okay. And then the blacks, I'm going to bring the blacks down to a negative 25. Oh, that's too much. And then for the color, we're going to bring down the temp to a negative three. Okay. Then for the, that's all I'm doing for there. And then I'm going to go into that color mixer wheel and um i'm going to add 12 to the hue the saturation is going to be 41 and then if i get it ever then the luminance i'm bringing that down to about a 14 or around there Okay, and then for that next orange, <clears throat> wow, excuse me. For the next orange color, I'm bringing that down to a negative 12 or negative 13, that should work. Bringing the saturation up to a nine. Oh my gosh. And then the luminance down to a negative 21. 
So this one, I know you guys have also messaged me. This one's the one that can make you uh, look really orange because obviously it's an orange one. So just be really careful when, you play, when you're when you playing around with this one. If you are looking a little orange, then maybe like bring the saturation down and the luminance up so um, it's not super in the negatives and then the saturation put it bring it into the negatives if it's looking a little too orangey or blotchy uh, just like kind of play around with those and that will hopefully fix that like orange-ish tone problem that you will have to your skin tone and then for the yellows i'm bringing the hue down to a negative 65 yeah. and then the saturation to a negative 80 four and then the luminance um i'm bringing that up just to like a 13. okay and then the greens i'm just adjusting the hue uh in the green so to adding a 13 16 actually 16 to the hue okay and then for the blues i am adding for that first like um brighter blue i'm adding plus 70 76. oh shoot i just moved that one around and you could see like in my jeans it just is really adjusting it right now and then the saturation i'm adding a 29 let's get to 29 okay and then for and then wow and then for this luminance, I'm bringing it down to a, I'm bringing it down to a negative eight or negative nine. I'm just going to leave it there. Next blue, bringing the hue down to a negative three. Then I'm going to bring the saturation all the way up to a 43. So this one is really intense. I'm already, I haven't even been, I haven't even paying attention. Wow. I haven't even been paying attention to the actual picture. I think my eyes are honestly closed in this. Oh, no, they're open. And then the luminance up to a 17. Okay, and then for purples, we're just going to bring the hue up to a 12. Forget it. There we go. Pinks. We're going to do plus. We're gonna add 19 to the saturation and 20 to the luminance. If I can ever get it there either. Oh my gosh. And then for the effects at the bottom, we are going to just go into clarity on this one and that's gonna be it. And then we're gonna add, do a plus 25. And then for the detail, we're just going to bring the noise reduction up. I have it set at like 20, but it depends. Sometimes you want to smooth it out more. Sometimes you don't. Um, right now, I'll just leave it at 20. Oops. Let me remove the detail. Okay. So this is how the picture now looks with all like the um, edit, all of the presets. So this is the before, this is the after or after so very blue kind of got rid of all like the grayish tones or kind of made it just more look more alive um for me i think i would probably bring the exposure up even a little bit just because i want it to be really bright and white and crisp so i brought it up to a plus 80 um and then i don't know if i would change anything else in this for the color i know for me the blue jeans are just a little too intense for this just because of this is kind of what they look like right now but when I edit them that way, these pair of jeans just like really are super bright. Here we go. So that second blue color, I'll probably move the saturation just down a little bit to not make it as like, do you guys see that? Like that's really intense, really pretty blue. And if that's kind of what you're feeding, that would be really, really pretty. Um, but I'm going to just kind of bring that down a little bit and bring it to a negative saturation, I think in this, maybe like negative 14 in the teens. I think that would be more my vibe. So that's kind of what I would do. I kind of want to be a little bit tanner in this. So I bring down the luminance to a negative 25. Yeah, because then I'll turn to orange. Let's do that. For those orange colors, I'm going to bring that down to negative 25. And then this would probably be something I would post more likely to my feed right now, just because that's the vibe I like instead of those blues. Obviously adjust as the picture needs. 
adjusting, but this is kind of what my final thing would be. I know this is different from like the initial, but so there's like the original, then there was a, that, uh, that actual preset, that's the preset that I have, and then I adjust from there to see what would look best for the picture. So that's how that turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is like so exciting. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, I post tons on there almost every single day. Um, and I also have a trip coming soon. So I'm going to be posting lots of fun videos and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out. And thank you guys so much for watching this video again. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.